Hi friends, uh, I wanted to show you the latest journal that I've made and um, I wanted to uh, first of all say that I apologize my hands uh, look very bad. I've been crafting and haven't taken very good care of them so please overlook that. And then the other thing is um, I'm not really confident with my voice and I haven't made very many videos so sometimes I talk fast or kind of go over things and I just wanted to take my time today. I wanted to give a couple of shout outs to some friends and uh, I also wanted to highlight some of the inspiration that I have um, used in my book and I also wanted to uh, leave some ideas with you. So um, first of all I wanted to say um, I have a friend, Betty Stewart. She is uh, on Facebook and she is on junk, jur Journal Junkies Boutique. And uh, she's a very talented uh, artist. She makes beautiful journals. I wish you'd take the time to look her up. Uh, she's really special. And then my other friend is uh, Tanya Ferguson. Her website is Scribbles in Time. I believe that's also her Etsy and YouTube channel. She makes beautiful nature journals, very talented. Uh, if you would uh, look those up, I'll list them in the uh, description below. But uh, two people that have really meant a lot to me uh, in this journey. And then uh, as I go through, I'll mention several of the websites where I've gotten a lot of the inspiration. Uh, the journal is a vintage blank journal. It's an old book that's been repurposed. It's hardcover. I covered the uh, book with some lace and then it has a two and a half inch spine. The back is just plain. The front is just a collage of old music paper, some corrugated cardboard, um, some lace, a vintage picture, and then um, I added this. My mom called them ear bobs growing up, so I just called them ear bobs, earrings. I took the backing off and added that. And I love the old kind of vintage look. The uh, rhinestones are kind of tarnished from, from age. And then it's, it's pretty chunky. It has some charms on the side. It has four signatures. It has a uh, floating spine, I believe is what they call that. And then it has... Um, what I call my signature uh, closure. It's just a bulldog clip on a chain and I sell those in my Etsy shop and I, I will mention the other things that I sell in my Etsy shop. Uh, but um, as I said it's a blank journal. Um, the four signatures, all the pages are the same but the embellishments are different. Uh, there will be a lot of places for you to write or to put pictures or memorabilia. I'm not going to say on every page, oh, this is a blank page, but um, I just wanted to mention that, that they are seminal, similar, gosh, um, so we'll just go inside. Um, the front is just, has some background paper, and then a library uh, card um, pocket, and then just a blank library card, and then I added a little tag that had... Um, I believe that's some vintage lace, but from a, a napkin. It was from a napkin. And then um, the pocket has just some lace. And again, another vintage uh, ear bob. And um, that. And then um, the signatures, the cover is a uh, file folder. It's one of the dark manila ones. It looks kind of like craft paper. And then the inspiration for this collage was from, um, her name is Robin Dudley Howes. Her uh, website, I believe, is Artsy Bohemian. I know she's on YouTube. Um, and um, she uh, gives a lot of tutorials about how to collage. And I don't know if y'all struggle. I struggle with collage. I don't like to cover up all those things. I want them to show. So I really struggle with it. But she talked about negative space. She talked about how to lay it out so your eye flows uh, over the piece. And she's just really a, a very good teacher. And so I liked uh, her and uh, I, I made that collage. And then another one of my signature items is 
that I sell is they're called rusted metal prong fasteners. They hold this this group of paper and um, it's just a, a spot for you to journal. It's several pages that you can journal on. These uh, pages could be removed if you didn't like them or you could add more pages to them. And then the front of the little booklet is uh, just some tracing paper that was tea stained and um, I embossed on the tracing paper. I got that idea from Attic Lane. She does a tutorial on that that's very good and you can emboss on vellum and uh, tracing papers and I believe it turned out really pretty so you might look her up. Um, I didn't mention all the pages are tea stained and uh, this first page is just again the tea stained um, tracing paper and then this is an old ledger paper. It's from I believe the 1900s and so when there when it is blank I just left it so you could write on but some of the other pages have writing like this one and then on those I did some embellishing and this one has just some lace, a little lace tuck spot and then I added a jewelry pin, a rusted jewelry pin uh, I sell those in my shop. They're the coolest safety pins. And then I added a um, rusted ribbon crimp. And then just some more of that linen napkin with some buttons. And then um, I added just a little digital image that's uh, blank on the back. This was my first time to use any digital images in my uh, albums or journals. And um, I really enjoyed having the uh, variety of things to use. I used a lot from uh, Graphics Fairy and then uh, from my Porch Prints was another one. So I like that. And then this is just some uh, lined notebook paper, some graft paper. And then I wanted to talk about this. This is just a CD case uh, envelope. and. Um, I got this idea from um, Bohemian Crafting. She does a lot with the window envelopes. There's a, I know a lot of other artists do um, the window envelopes, so I wanted to incorporate that. But I wanted to talk about the back of the um, envelope, how I attached it. I attached the back flap. I added um, some book paper. And then I added this, I call it vintage cello tape. And I love this stuff. It's so easy to make. I'll show you here in just a second. But it's so easy, but it just adds cohesiveness to the journal. It looks like it's always been there. It, it just makes everything kind of come together. Um, so I don't remember the video that I saw, but what I did was I took wax paper and then I put down pieces of cellophane tape and I used uh, various widths of the cellophane tape then I just took some um, alcohol ink, this was caramel color and then just a little adapter and put it on there and then you rub it over the cello tape and it ages it and it looks perfect and then you just leave it on this and you pull it off and use it and it's, it's great, I love it, it's so easy and it, I think it really, you get a lot of bang for your buck. So as I was doing that, I was thinking, well, what about the, I guess it's called cellophane, on the inside of these envelopes, this uh, cellophane here, I wanted it to look aged. So I did the same thing. I took the uh, adapter with the ink and just ran over that, and it made it look aged. And then when you add, like, a piece of white paper, let's see if you can see. I don't know if you can see that, but it looks yellowed. And so I thought, well, that looks more in, you know, vintage. So I did that. Then I thought, well, sometimes I use the hole reinforcers, and these were the ones that were the clear, the, or, you know, the clear ones. So I thought, well, if I wonder if I ran alcohol ink over that, if they would look aged, and they did. So sometimes I use them in my book, and I'll show you where I use it, but sometimes you just need a little reinforcement, but you want it to look vintaged. So that's what I did with this envelope. I distressed the envelope, um, and then 
the, um, I don't know if you can tell, the circle is just, on the inside I added the alcohol ink and it just looks kind of yellow tinged to it. So I think it looks just a little little aged. And then all that was in there was two, two pockets that were in there. I added um, a little rusted brad that I sell in my shop and then just some uh, lace. So that goes in there. And then the back of the envelope, <clears throat> I used um, manuscript paper. Again, I used the age cello tape. To, it looks like it holds it in there, but it's just uh, for decoration. And then this paper, I believe, was mixed media paper, or it's either a watercolor paper. I just tea stained it. And then I added <clears throat> this envelope. And it just holds three little tags that um, you know are music themed and blank. And then it's a little butterfly, and half of the butterfly is tacked down, so it acts as a little tuck spot for the um, tag, that little tag. Let's see if I can get it in there. <laughs> of course, when I'm filming, it doesn't want to quite but there. That just holds that. And then behind that is a tuck spot, and it's just a, a beautiful uh, vintage image. And so we have that. And then, um, again, from... I think it was the Bohemian Crafting, or just a lot of different people uh, do the pages where they fold over. So on this one, I just added some lace on both sides just to give it a little, make it a little more sturdy. And then this was tea dyed uh, typing paper. <clears throat> In the center of my uh, signatures, I normally put an envelope so it hides the string. So this just was some vintage lace, and then on the inside, uh, I had just a couple of little tags, and um, this one uh, is just says beautiful and blank, and then it has two little blank tags. It's held on with a, again, a vintage or uh, rusted jewelry pin, and then this is just a, a tag with a rusted um, brad. And then I, I'll talk about later the closure here, this string and um, button closure, and I have an idea for those, and I'll show you that in a few minutes. Um, this was just um, a library pocket, and then I added two tags. On these tags, I added uh, the rusted washer along with the brad, and then they're blank on the back, and then this one just has a little pocket, and this one has some ribbon that says Journey. So let's just go in there. And then again from um, Bohemian Crafting, she does a lot of... Uh, tuck spots and those tuck spots a lot of times have closures and she uses a lot of tags and I thought well to maybe make it a little more sturdy or substantial I thought well I'm going to use the metal rim tags that I sell so this was one of the metal rim tags on this page I added some ledger paper to the tag and then I stamped an amber sand and that just it's going to hold this flap shut so if you pull it off to the side it uh, opens the flap up, and then the flap just has a tag and a little uh, tab on it. But uh, this is where I used, I don't think you can see it, it's hidden, but I used that, um, those reinforcements to help strengthen the page there, so when you're opening and closing it, it doesn't uh, come you know, loose. And then on the back of the page, I added some uh, ribbon or lace, and then again, a, a, bulb, uh, a jewelry pin and a tag. And then just some paper. This is again that back of that envelope. This is the flip page on um, the graft paper. And again, it's a metal rim tag that I added the graft paper to. And then if you just slip it over to the side, it opens up. And this is just a little envelope. And it has two little tags in it that are blank for journaling. And so, and then that closes back up and that holds it in place. And then this uh, covering up the brad is some lace and then some denim that has stamped the word dream. And this is the notebook paper. On this page, this is the back of that ledger paper. I, somewhere I learned how to fold these little envelopes. They're kind of like 
a paper airplane the way you fold them and so I just added that here and then the closure I used on this was just a small metal rim tag and if you pull it off if you push it off to the side it opens up and then inside is a tag that says memories and then I left the string out so people would kind of know that there was a tag inside and make it easier to get in and out but um, that um, closure I think works really well it slides around and then this was a uh, altered guest check and it's just some denim and lace and then a tuck spot and again here I use the vintage cello tape that's that perforated edge of the guest checks and I wanted to strengthen that so I just added the tape so it would make the tag a little bit longer and then I've seen several people do these altered guest checks uh, I think one of them was um, Kathy Cadell. She does a lot of the lace and vintage, shabby, chic um, journals. She has, again, her work is, is amazing, too. It's Kathy Cadell, and she's on YouTube. And um, then this is just the end of the signature. And this is where I added a... Um, if you want a quick, easy way to add charms to your pages or tags, I think if you use um, these little jewelry uh, ribbon crimps, just stick it on there and crimp it, and you're done. And then on this one, I added um, a tag. I think a Tim Holtz tag. It says life. And uh, But the ribbon crimps are really an easy way to add charms to your pages. And then this is the second signature. It's just a collage. Uh, mainly of some uh, butterflies and then some uh, rhinestones. And then this was just three little tags that I added. Uh, one said, is an amber sand, the other one says details, the other one's just a little butterfly. If you didn't like that, you could take that off. And then just some lace. And then again, here is um, that booklet that has the pages for you to journal on. And again, you could add more or take take it away if you didn't like it. Again, I um, embossed on the tracing paper and it turned out well. That was Attic Lane that gave me that idea. And then just some tracing paper. And then on this page, I just, it was a, an envelope and I collaged um, a lot of stamps that I had. And then the tags, I just incorporated the stamps. Uh, on those and then up at the top and then uh, it's a little tuck spot and I'm not sure which website that I got this print off from but I don't think you can see it but it is beautiful it's some kind of uh, like has a sheen like a, a metallic sheen to it it was just plain I printed it on plain paper but it, it has this beautiful sheen, and I know you probably can't see it, but in person, it is amazing. And it was a postcard, so I added that to go along with the postage theme. And then uh, just some more pages. And then again, here's uh, that a CD uh, envelope, and then inside it's just two tags. This is an altered guest check again. Then I added a ribbon, and it says Create. And then just blank to journal on. And then again, that's that aged cellophane. Then this is uh, just some denim and lace. I sell these denim squares in my Etsy shop. This is a large um, jewelry pin. And uh, then just a metal rim tag that I stamped a B on. And then it's a tuck spot. And I added a uh, just a blank tag with some vintage music paper. So, and then here's the center of this signature. Again, it's an envelope with a little vintage lace. Inside this one um, was just a little booklet. I believe this was Kathy Cadell. She does a lot of the uh, little booklets and tuck spots inside her journals because her journals are 
are very, uh, have a lot of lace and a lot of embellishments, but she has a lot of little tuck spots that you can uh, add a, a little journal booklet to. So she does that. So I added this one. It's made of glossing envelopes, and you could, um, you know, stick something in there. I just left it empty. And then this is a, I call it a faux uh, enamel number, like the French enamel numbers that you see. It's just a metal rim tag that I embossed, uh, and I, I think it looks vintage, or looks like the French, and then it's just on a collaged piece, little booklet. So that's that. And then, again, just pages. And here's the back of that envelope. And then, again, another... Uh, folded page and uh, to keep it closed you have the metal rim tag. Then this has a um, ticket that I wrote the word journey uh, journey on and it opens up. And then the back is some lace that uh, to cover the brad. And then that just folds up. Whoops. And then this, uh, I'm not exactly sure who I got this idea from but it's just a little uh, envelope and uh, tuck spot that uh, opens up and then inside is an envelope. I couldn't get the tag in and out easily so I just left it out and um, that uh, is closed with a ribbon closure and I thought that was really pretty and I liked it. I had never done that before so I liked um, that and um, can't get it. We'll do that later. And then this is just, an, again, another guest check that I altered. It has uh, the denim and lace, and then it has some little Tim Holtz paper dolls, and then again the tape to reinforce the perforated edge. And then this is a rusted um, paper clip. I sell those in my shop. Again, I I think it matters when you your elements are all if they're vintage, I think, rather than having a silver, bright silver paper clip, if you have one that's rusted, it looks more authentic, but that's just me. And then this is, again, a um, little small ribbon, clamp, ribbon crimp, and I made uh, this bead charm. It's um, a clear bead and then two beads that have a bluish tint. Since the book had a bluish tint, I thought those went with it well. And then here's our third signature. Again, it's a collage. Um, it was Robin Dudley Howes that, uh, you know, kind of, again, talked about the negative space, how to collage. This one, I don't know what this element is. I think it is something that people would put on their dresses. I, I'm not real sure, but I thought it was really pretty. It has a little shimmer, a little bling to it. I thought it went with the leaves there in that picture. And so I added that, and then I added a little tag It says Discover. And then this was um, just, again, another little journaling spot. But I wanted to mention, I don't remember where I saw this, but, you know, a lot of times people add twine or um, thread to their pages or cards, or they tie things up like this with the uh, twine and in order to keep it on there rather than glue it um, I saw an example where the lady took a hole punch and you just kind of uh, punched a little notch like a half of a circle into the side of um, your paper and then that holds your string it won't come out and um, you don't have to glue it so I thought that was really um, a neat way to do that and so I wanted to share that with y'all. Um, it keeps the, the string on there without having to glue it. And, um, and that just tucks in there. And then again this is the journaling booklet and then it's uh, again embossed with um, on the tea stained paper, tracing paper. And then this, I left this edge blank. It just shows the age of the uh, journal paper. Uh, I thought that was really, really pretty. 
didn't want to change that. Then on this fold out, I just I added a little of that um, napkin um, lace and just it opens up. And then the back is just some vintage lace that covers the um, brad. And again, I used the re hole reinforcers to strengthen the paper. And um, this is the CD envelope. And it just has two tags in it that um, you could journal on. And again, the yellowed cellophane. Oh, again, the back is the manuscript paper. Then this was a fold out, and it's just a tag with uh, some stamping on there. And it gives you a place to, so you don't hurt your paper. And then this is the center of the. Um, Signature, again, some um, vintage lace, and then this one has two little tuck spots, or two little journaling spots, and this one is another one of those postcards that has that metallic sheen to it. Again, I don't think you can, can see it doesn't do it justice, but in person it's, it's beautiful. So if I can figure out what website I got that from, I will let you know. I'll put it in the description box. And then... Then this was another fold out. It's just some um, music paper. I added a little book plate that you could put uh, a, a name or something. And that folds out. And then the brad is covered again with a little lace and a little jewelry pin. Folds up. And then I love this little pocket. <clears throat> I made the pocket out of uh, some tracing paper and just added a tag and it says family but the little girl is a Tim Holtz uh, paper doll but I stamped and uh, embossed my favorite things and I really liked that I thought that was pretty uh, and then a little tag that says family and another rusted safety pin not safety pin, uh, paper clip and, um, yeah. and just our regular pages and then this is the um, back of the signature. It's just a, a tuck spot with some vintage music paper. This is some uh, manuscript paper with a little lace on the sign. Tucks in there. And then this is another charm, a Tim Holtz charm. It says 10. And then this is the last signature. Again, it's just a collage. And um, then this is the last little... Uh, booklet that you could journal in. And then this was just a beautiful image of a, I guess, a Victorian lady. And again, I added the age cello tape. It's just a tuck spot. This was just a journaling card. And then this is a tuck spot and it has three little places to journal. And you could use those different places in the book. If you didn't like them here, you could use them somewhere else. And then here's our CD envelope with two tags. That one I lined with some uh, old book paper. It's something different. And then this is another fold out. It's just a, a, some, uh, a digital printout of the paper, a little tab. And then the uh, ledger paper. And then this. This is the center. Again, some vintage lace, uh, jewelry pin. And then this one has just two uh, journaling spots. But you could put anything in there, as you know. And then this is another flip out. It's just a little collage, a little butterfly. And then. Um, this is the end of the book. This was a little belly band of uh, vintage lace. And then I make these and sell them in my shop. Just a little journal booklet that you could add. It features the rusted, uh, uh, I can't think of the name, rusted prong fasteners. That's it, metal prong fasteners. And it says remember on there. And so that just slips in there. And then here's your last little bead, and then the back. Uh, I also wanted to um, talk about um, 
those envelope um, spots where you could um, add. I'm going to see if I can bring my camera down so I can get in a little closer. And um, I wanted to, to talk about some ideas I had about using the um, metal rim tags as um, a closure. And what I did was um, I took a small metal rim tag and I uh, stamped a letter on it and then I embossed it. And I think it looks kind of like a um, old typewriter key. So I call them uh, my enameled numbers or letters in my Etsy shop. But what I did was I added it to the flap of this uh, envelope. And then the string, I thought you could run behind the envelope. You could um, paste that down on a page, and then you use your string to go around. And um, I can't seem to get it. Oops. Uh, <laughs> it'd be easier if I wasn't trying so hard. And then it just goes around and holds it shut. I guess I taped, I glued it too tight there. But um, I wanted to uh, show you that idea. And then this was a policy um, envelope. I'm going to have to go up a little bit. I don't think you can see. Um, and I used, uh, for the button and string closure, I used uh, my little metal rim tags that I had tea stained. Now you could stamp uh, a letter, a number, you could cover it with book paper. There's a lot of different ways to embellish those. And then you just take the string and you run it around. And um, well, I'm trying to go around this tripod and I'm having all sorts of problems. It's not that difficult. <laughs> But they just it just goes around and you're done. So I thought that was a different idea, different look, a very easy way to make uh, a button and string closure. They're they're very easy. Then this one I covered. I made a little bigger tag and I covered it with some um, old book paper and then I put the I put a hole in the center and then this one you can just. Um, take the string and go around and I cut the string a little short on this one but uh, makes it very easy uh, I think they look very nice something a little different then this was again an example where I just used uh, an envelope and used this as the closure and if you pull it off to the side then you open your envelope up and then you close it back down so um, that is that I think that is all for today. I wanted to say that uh, the journal will be uh, for sale in my Etsy shop. Uh, I appreciate uh, you taking the time to spend with me and go through the book. Um, thank you for uh, watching. I would appreciate any comments 